of everyone. Thank you for these very, very sweet moments. This last week, starting in Burbank, meeting the fans, very special fans, Rita, Doug, Margaret Dobrosola, for making all of this possible. Emmy, this reunion has been more than you'll ever know. It means so much to me and my family. Um, I had lunch today with James MacArthur and his beautiful wife, wife H.P., and Marie Lord. And I told her that tonight I'd like to read to all of you a poem that Jack loves so much. And I'd like to dedicate this poem to Jack McGarrett, Hawaii Five O, and my dear darling, Len. You may think I'm standing up here alone, but I've been with him and he's been with me for the 23 years that he's been gone. So, for, thank you. for Jack, and also, I must tell you, I spoke to Richard Denning, and Richard Denning, the gov, sends his love to all of you, wishes he could be here, but uh, he can't, so he said, be sure and say aloha to all of you, and thank you for remembering. Now, the poem that Jack loved and loves, and that I promised Marie that I would read tonight, because I don't have to memorize, so bear with me by Don Blanding. It's more than just an easy word for casual goodbye. It's gayer than a greeting, and it's sadder than a sigh. It has the hurting poignancy, the pathos of a sob. It's sweeter than a youthful heart's exquisite joyous throb. It's all the tender messages that words cannot convey. It's tears unshed and longing for a loved one gone away. It's welcome to Hawaii. And it's lingering farewell. It's all the dear and silent things that lovers' lips can tell. It's woven into flower lace and old Hawaiian songs. It's frailer than a spider web and as strong as leather thongs. It's fresh as dew on ginger blooms and older than the moon. It's in the little lullaby that native mo mothers croon. It's said a hundred different ways in sadness and in joy. Aloha means I love you. Aloha, I aloha.